The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever does not enter a sheep fall through the gate, but climbs over elsewhere, is a thief and a robber. But whoever enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens it for him, and the sheep hears his voice, as he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has driven out all his own, he walks ahead of them, and the sheep follows him, because they recognize his voice. But they will not follow a stranger. They will run away from him, because they do not recognize the voice of strangers. Although Jesus used this figure of speech, they did not realize what he was trying to tell them. So Jesus said again, Amen, amen, I say to you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. A thief comes only to steal, slaughter, and destroy. I came, to, I came so that they might have life and have it more abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. The liturgy today is a reminder for us of the universality of the Church because we as Catholics are not an exclusive group or just a social group that gathers and celebrates Mass. Rather, we are the universal Church of God. And God, has did, God had this idea from old of gathering everybody under His love and under His mercy. And He sends us. He always sends us to preach this mercy and bring others to the fullness of the truth, to the fullness of His love. Just look at Peter, how he is, has this controversy and kind of fighting against the disciples because they don't want other people, but just the Jews to enter in this covenant of love and mercy of God. But he's preaching to the Gentiles, as so also Peter, Saul, and all the disciples who preached to the Gentiles, bringing every single nation, every single people and person to God. So today we have this invitation as we go on our ways. We are not going to say to everybody that we meet today, I'm Catholic, I'm Catholic, I'm Catholic, right? But we have the opportunity to preach with our actions and also with kindness, generosity, and compassion, even asking pardoning, asking for forgiveness, and even forgive, forgiving what is done against us. So let us take this as an opportunity to bring testimony, to bring Jesus into our realities, and also to be a part of this active part of this community of faith, the universal church of God. And as the psalm is telling us to, uh, to today to us, a thirst is my soul for the living God. So as we go in our ways today, let us show us that, you know, that we thirst for God, thirst for his mercy and his love, bringing this reality of Catholicism to our own places. Amen. <laughs>